So we're going to go through the process of how to download or buy or get a free trial for a uh, trial for library.gorangroves sampled instruments. And uh, we're going to homepage here. Uh, I like say the retro custom, so I'll go on that. Uh, and then here I've got the option to do a free trial or just to add to cart and pay. I'm going to do a free trial for this uh, video here. So I'll click on that, it adds to cart. You can click here or up here as well to view your cart at any time. Uh, you can go straight to check out or view cart. I'm going to go view cart. Um, there's an option here to enter a coupon if you have one. Uh, there's no need to enter anything because it's zero dollars right now. So we'll just go proceed to checkout. Now here you have to enter your email address and click next. And uh, then it will either ask you for the password if you already registered. If you haven't, you still enter it here. So uh, I'm just creating an account now and I've entered my password I want. So I'll just click register and take a second there. Okay, here it is. I'll add my, um, I'll just go library ground grooves. Why not? Uh, and save details. So you put your name there and uh, you can again enter uh, the coupon code here. Then it'll say complete payment. Obviously there's nothing to pay, but you still click the same button. Even though it's a free, free trial, you don't have to enter any card details or anything. It just goes and straight to here. Okay, here's your receipt. Uh, order number total, what you ordered, and then you can go to your account either here or at any point on the website. You can always click here just to go to your account. And here you will find your downloads, your reviews, your previous orders, and your account details, name, and you know if you want to change your password, all that stuff. Right now we just want to download this uh, retro custom sampled instrument. So I, you click on the download button. It that comes up with these little pop-up things. So if you're on Windows, you click there. If you're on Mac, you click on the Mac. I'm on Windows 10 uh, using uh, Microsoft Edge at the moment, so I'll go there now. Sometimes it will come up here and say, uh, this could harm your computer, do you want to keep or remove? Go keep, because um, the problem is sometimes it just does it with Excel files. Uh, and you just can keep, keep, or if you have more options, you can click there, but mine is not warning me right now. And I will just go on my desktop and save this uh, installer there, okay? Okay, because I already have it. I'll just uh, put it on my desktop and wait for it to download. Okay, we're back now and it's uh, finished downloading. And if it's done it correctly, you will have the .exe extension here. If it doesn't have that and it's just got a jumble of letters and stuff, it probably means it's not completed downloading. You have to check what's happened. If it's not completed, you have to check here. Like for example, I didn't complete one of them here. You have to either restart it or download again, or um, or just yeah continue if it's just paused. So anyway, but it must be .exe to work. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm going to do another video on how to install it. If this was useful, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.